What it do, people? It's your boy Dre Day every day back with another video for you. And today we're gonna talk about the concept of with great power comes great responsibility. And um, you know, if you're familiar with Spider Man at all, you I know you heard that statement, which was uh basically Words from uh, Uncle Ben, the Spider-Man, Peter Parker. And honestly, you know, as a kid, growing up with Spider-Man, Spider-Man being my all-time favorite superhero, probably said that countless times, but I never knew how much this statement would actually resonate with me and how I actually view things. Because it's like, it aligns with my ideology of walking the higher path. You know, you don't want to just, well, I'm not going to say what nobody wants to do. I've never been the person that wanted to just be another statistic. I do not fit in the, I don't fit within a group of people. I mean, you know, you can categorize me if you want to, but. If we just talk about we sit down and we cut into things, it's like, no, Did, what I do specifically have my thought process are lined up sits a little bit outside of any kind of group of people that you um, were liking me to. And that's, you know, it is very intentional. And also, I feel like things that things that I learn, I actually like to apply them. And if I don't apply them. I like to give that back. So on the same, so on the flip side of the same token, it's like I take knowledge, apply it. The people that know me know the things that I value, and as a way I project myself into the world. Does a people respect my integrity? They can see that they could potentially be they could potentially be shunned by it, or they could potentially be. Uh, influenced by it or impressed and then on the flip side if I don't necessarily if I can't do anything with it give it back I don't believe in the whole concept of hoarding knowledge or hoarding things and just having it go to waste no you learn it give it back give it back out because what that does is that builds the world around you and I believe in the whole ideology of changing the world one person at a time or influencing the world. I don't really like the concept of saying changing the world because honestly the world should be left alone. I feel like what's wrong with the world is people, everybody wanting to change the world. Like if more people had the ideology of leaving the world alone, I believe we'd be in a better space. It's another conversation. But um, if it goes to like me like say for instance if you learn a, a form of uh self-defense so to speak you know you shouldn't learn ain't gonna say what you shouldn't do but who would go learn self-defense to beat people up you know <laughs> you know you learn self-defense so you can protect yourself and potential those who you potentially um care about i wouldn't say learn self-defense and then go out and try to be a hero and protect you can if you feel like you could de-escalate the situation and you feel like it's com you feel like you can take it on without causing a bigger issue, then cool. But things like that, learning self defense, if you're a gun gun owner, which I'm a I'm a gun owner. I haven't like I said in my previous channel I spoke about uh guns, gun safety and things of that nature. But, you know, being a gun owner and not learning teaching yourself how to shoot not being the person that's flashing guns on a camera um, just for the sake of flashing guns on the camera. Like, nobody should know you have it on you. Like, I fit into that description to where, you know, I have a gun with me. You don't, you don't have to know I got it. Matter of fact, I might have a gun and a knife. But when it comes to that, the responsible gun ownership, but at the same time, teaching myself how to handle it so in the event I have to shoot somebody I don't shoot an innocent person because I've done my due diligence at the range to you know 
perfect my aim to an extent. Can't say I won't say I have the best aim, but I know how to put a shot on target. <sighs> that um, just, just all of that falls in line with the whole concept of with great power comes great responsibility. Because if you have a gun, you got the power of life and death in your hands. And that's a very serious thing. That's why I feel like, you know, just taking pictures to show. Well, you could take a picture to show the gun off in a, you know, just to in an artistic way. But taking guns and aiming it at the, at the camera, like, what the fuck is that? You know, um, advice. If you know it, you see somebody that could use it. Give that, get that shit back. Build this person up. Potentially build this person up. And that way, you're just building a stronger world around you. And then you have people that will look at you and they could, they will respect you and things of that nature. And um, that's just what I'm about. It just feels like anything that I could do to make something around me better. better, better but, but it starts with bettering myself and wholeheartedly living by this 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 mantra, this, this, this thing I heard on a cartoon as a kid growing up and I understood it in concept, but understanding it in application in life in living years, like the weight of that statement is just, it's potentially the greatest thing that I took from, uh, it's potentially the greatest thing that I took from, uh, Spider-Man as a life mantra, you know, just making sure that, you're being the best version of yourself that you can be. You're building things rather than destroying, building more things than you're destroying. Um, you know, being a firm rock for people who look up to you, um, being a source of, being a source of, um, accurate information. If that's what the relationship is between you and someone else, just have integrity. And like I said, just when I sit up and just look at all my characteristics and I think about this mantra, it's like, I, I, it's just had a profound, just with great power comes great responsibility has had a profound um, impact on my, just my entire being, the, the way I view everything. And so, yeah, just don't, don't go out and be, if, if you want to be held to a high regard, hold yourself to a high regard and then people will view you that way. But it's outside of, you can't just talk to talk, uh, talk it and walk it, <laughs> talk it, how you walk it, walk it, how you talk it either way you want to say that. But that right there is, I feel like it's something that we should all be striving to being the best version of ourselves, being responsible, uh, reliable, trustworthy, all of this, all of that stuff. It all, I feel like all of that feeds into the whole with great power comes great responsibility because there's a lot of phony shit going on. There's a lot of people that don't, that aren't about what they say they're about. There's the people who are about deception. And I feel like all of this stuff is destroying the whole, it's the reason why Potentially meeting people is so trash because you never know if you're dealing with somebody that's real or if you're dealing with somebody that's fake. But, you know, nobody wants to take the responsibility. Nobody, accountability is not a thing with people. Buck against all of the popular shit. Fuck all of these people who don't stand for love and stuff like that. They're people, they're going to exist. Just move them out the fucking way. But, like I said, if you want to build a better tomorrow, start with yourself and then sprinkle it into those around you. And that potentially will feed into the people around you. Hopefully they see that inspired by it. If they're not already on the path, push their, their energy out into the world and then inspire people around them and potentially maybe, Maybe not. We could get some. We can get back to a space to where people are actually what they say they are. It's probably a mustard seed chance of that, but that's the fight I'm fighting. I don't really give a fuck about nothing else. But outside of that, that's all I really got on this idea. You know, you know. 
Until next video, next idea. Peace out.